Hello everyone, so this is my heart blood flow model assignment project. So I have um, drawn my heart on the board. I have all of the structures we're going to go over as well on the board. And we're just uh, going to discuss the movement of blood through the heart um, from the systemic circulation to the pulmonary and then back out to the systemic circulation. So starting on our right side, is where our deoxygenated blood goes into the heart. And it does this via the superior and inferior vena cava. So this is blood that's coming back from systemic circulation. It just dropped off all of its oxygen to its tissues and now it needs to get reoxygenated. So um, descending down the um, superior and ascending from the inferior vena cava, we dump our, um, or we pull our unoxygenated blood into the right atrium, this first stop. So when we have this um, pumping and contraction, contracting, excuse me, we're going to push the blood into our right ventricle through our tricuspid valve. That's our first valve is a tricuspid valve. And these valves um, are there to prevent regurgitation or the backflow of blood. So um, from the inferior and superior vena cava into our right atrium through our tricuspid valve, and now we are into our right ventricle. From our right ventricle, we are going to be uh, pushing that blood through our first semilunar valve, our pulmonary sem semilunar valve, which is also in our pulmonary, pulmonary trunk, excuse me, and that is going to go out through our left and our right pulmonary arteries. As we know, arteries take blood away from the heart. So um, pulmonary trunk, left and right pulmonary arteries, and that is going to take it to pulmonary circulation. So um, through the process of exchanging gases with the capillaries in the lungs that are um, on those alveoli or alveolar sacs. And then when the blood now oxygenated, returns back to the heart through the pulmonary veins, the left and the right pulmonary veins, and it empties or pulls into our left atrium. Moving forward, now that we have oxygenated blood, we want to get it to the systemic circuit. So through our left atrium, we are going to pass our bicuspid, so this is our mitral, our bicuspid valve, into our left ventricle. And this left ventricle is a very powerful ventricle because it is responsible for pushing that blood through out the body, so systemically. So once we're in the left ventricle, it's going to pump it through our last semilunar valve, which is going to be our aortic semilunar valve, into our aorta, and then that is going to be pushed systemically, so throughout the body. And I'm just making sure we touch on everything. And that is my heart blood flow model project. Thank you.